Good morning and welcome to Trail Grazers, where we do great food for the trail and share our trail trips with you. And I'm really excited to let you know that we have made reservations now for, I think, five different trailer trips, Jim, this coming up summer. Four or five, something. Yeah, like that. something like that. I think we still need to schedule Moab. Uh, we're trying to do at least one a month. Plus, then we will be taking blue on some of those trips and um, in one of the places we're going, which is Kodachrome Basin State Park, they don't allow um, side-by-sides, UTVs, ATVs, and so we'll be taking our just our bicycles on that one and then riding around. In any case, we have a lot of fun things planned, plus we are going to, there's so much in our own area where we can drive out our back gate and do explorations. Supposedly there are even petroglyphs around here someplace. And so we will be taking other little side trips, and one of these days we're gonna learn how to use our drone so we can uh, include some drone shots in some of our videos. Today, however, I'm going to talk about one of the things we're going to be doing on our trailer trips, and that is using this um, new cooker that we just got. It is a Cobb griddle, and over on Rose Red Homestead, we've been really doing a lot of features on this one. Uh, we sort of unboxed it and talked about it over there. I'll put the links to that video at the end of this video so that you can check it out. And then I have my big primary thing is I want to use this for off-grid cooking should the grid go down long term. And we have to just rely on what we have without electricity to do our cooking, um, maybe long term. Who knows what might happen. I just want to be prepared and that's what we do over on Rose Red. We also want to be more um, economical in what we take with us in our trailer. You may have seen our previous videos where we were up at Bryce with my sister Cindy, her husband John, and their trailer where they did three meals and we did three meals on various things. And um, on that trip, we took along our tabletop Traeger, which is quite heavy, and our tabletop Blackstone uh, griddle called a flat top. And that is also quite heavy and bulky and cumbersome. And I've been searching for a really long time for something that has greater fuel economy that we can use as a redundancy system for cooking when um, in difficult times and when electricity may not be available. And then also while we do our, our camping trips, and I happened across this cob, and it turns out that it's very, very highly rated. And um, I wanted to just introduce it to you and let you know some of the things we're be going to be doing, and then um, some other news that occurred after we did the Rose Red video. So Rose Red doesn't know about this yet. This is the cob cooker. It comes, all of this can fit in this carry bag. And we'll be carrying this instead of those other two heavy, bulky items. Because we can cook pretty much anything on this cob. This is the basic setup. This is the dome lid, the dome cover. And the heat is controlled by just twisting the lid and opening and closing the um, openings. This is called a grill grid. And then down inside this piece, and it comes completely out, are two pieces where the fire is. So this is the base, and then this is where you put the charcoal. Now, um, this is called a moat right here. The moat has an indentation where you can uh, put liquids in if you want to um, do some steaming along with your cooking. You can also put vegetables, potatoes, or carrots down here and cook them while you're cooking other things on the top. Now the beauty of this is that it takes um, eight charcoal briquettes. That is it. Eight for most things. Now we're still in the discovery mode on this and experimenting, doing all kinds of experiments with it. We're still novices. There are people out there who, are, who have had these for a number of years and who are far more have far more expertise than we do, but we want to share with you as we go the things that we are learning. Now, they send their brand of charcoal, which is called a cobblestone, which I think is quite a clever name. 
And these are $3.60 a piece. You buy them in packs of six for that price. Um, and so it's like, I don't know, $25 or whatever uh, 360 times six is. And um, they fit right in here. Or you can use regular charcoal. Eight briquettes are 38 cents, and I've already done the math on that. So it's 38 cents versus $3.60. We have learned that these are pretty fantastic. Now, will I store a year's supply of these? Absolutely not, not at that price. But we might use them for some things. These are made of coconut. They burn clean. There, there are no chemicals. It has a fire starter embedded, but after that fire starter burns off, these are quick light. After that fire starter burns off, there's hardly any ash left after this is consumed. So then you can, uh, configure the rest of these things various ways. You can use this as uh, they call it a grill grid um, and then this is a fenced roasting pan. There it is. This is how I bake my bread in this setup with a bread pan here and then um, there is an extender which places the dome taller and that's how I do my bread. And I've gotten some fair success. I've tried both charcoal and the cobblestone. I still have some work to do on that. Then it has they call this a griddle. I'm, I'm thinking it's more like a grill, but that's what they call it. And then, um, and we have cooked hamburgers and steaks on this and they come out beautiful, absolutely beautiful. Um, I did a comparison in our rose red video or when we introduced Why Store Charcoal, which is another um, video over on rose red. I did a cost analysis on this and um, uh, comparing it to a 12 inch Dutch oven that uses 25 charcoal briquettes as compared to eight charcoal briquettes, so this is far more energy efficient. This is called the fry pan, and you use it just like a fry pan, and it comes with this handle. There we go. This handle fits all of these pieces and just lifts very easily. This is a chicken stand. It connects to this on the outside edges and you just put a chicken up right here and roast it. So that's one way to do a chicken. This is the wok and you can do all kinds of things in the wok. This acts like a saucepan. So all of these things plus, as I said, one cobblestone and two packages of two knives each. So a total of four steak knives. These steak knives are fantastic come in the set that is available on their website and I will put the link to that and it is called kitchen in a box and so this is pretty extensive we were thrilled with all of the things that you can do with this so we're going to be practicing them and um, the day crazy day that we released that video where we introduced our week it's called the, our new charcoal cooker um, evidently dozens of our viewers over on Rose Red went directly to their website and purchased this very set to the point that it was sold out for a little while. And, um, and then Jim and I were contacted by the president of Cobb America, who was so pleased with the sales. And I don't know how they tracked us down. Um, I guess maybe some of our viewers must have telephoned in and they were asked, what's the big rush? We're noticing this big rush and perhaps they gave our name. And then they looked us up as their customer and uh, contacted us that way. And I had a lovely conversation with the president of the company. He was thrilled with the sales that we had generated and it was unintentional on our part. We've just found a product that we really, really liked and we talk about it. That's what we do. We don't ever take sponsors on our channels, either channel. 
Uh, we want to be um, not feeling um, that we are beholding to anyone and that we can always give a um, honest view on anything. And so he told us that he was going to send us a few more things. In our video, I had expressed that I really didn't care for the cookbook because it was more geared toward fancy cooking on a grill at the beach or at the park or whatever. And that's not the type of cooking that we focus on. Um, but, and it used ingredients that I don't ever have on hand. So he sent me a new cookbook. I'm going to uh, stack these things up and show you a couple of things that came in his uh, thank you gift which was so generous of him. It was just great. And um, we appreciate it very much. So here is the cookbook that he sent, Anywhere But the Kitchen. And this one has a few more suitable recipes in it. Uh, Cobb is worldwide. And all of the things are written in European style with Euro European measurements. So any recipe that I use on our videos if I do, I will be translating into the U.S. version. So this is some of the stuff that he sent. He really wanted to talk me into um, embracing the cobblestones. And so he did send a box of six cobblestones. We've used them a couple of times, and I really, really do like them. Um, however, uh, Jim and I are very, very frugal and are thinking more in terms of how we need to be set up for uncertain times ahead. And so we'll count on our stores of charcoal as the main way to fuel this. But we will use those cobblestones from time to time. So he sent us a little a, a bread um, pan, and this would be used in connection with this grill grid. Uh, this acts as a heat diffuser, and so then this would go like this, and this like this, and we could do cakes and different things, round bull bread, that sort of thing there. Now, this is a piece of stone, and I'm very excited to try this out, especially when we are camping in our trailer. I've decided what I want to do is to make some pizza dough rounds, just about this size, and freeze them flat, and that way we can just grab a couple and take with us whenever we're ready to go. So that would go like this, I think. I'm gonna to have to really look at the directions carefully. I have not used this yet. Then, um, one of the other things that he sent was this rotisserie. This is something that we would never have purchased on our own. And then like this, with a little battery-powered rotisserie. You can see that it rotates there. Jim and I have used this once. It was a disaster. Not because of the equipment, but because we are novices at trussing a chicken and doing a rotisserie cook. So we're, we've bought another chicken. We're going to practice. <laughs> so before we do a video with this, um, we will be a little bit more skilled with it. <laughs> um, in any case, this is something that we would not have chosen to purchase on our own because we could also use the cob to just roast a chicken. But this is such a fun thing, so we're looking forward to that. Then they also sent us, as a thank you, some liners that go right in here. This one is one that we have used once that I washed it out. And then the fire stuff goes here. And uh, that is for easy cleanup. This is a package of six. And these are about $4 a piece. So my thinking is that if you decide to go to the top end and buy the, um, the little inserts to help you clean up, and if you use the cobblestones, this together, this and this together are $7.75. And for us, that would more than double most of the meals that we would be cooking. And so we wanted to figure out a way how to be much more economical in using this. And so by reusing this, and I, that's not a unique idea, other people 
even on their website have said, you can usually just wash these out and reuse them. And so does it defeat the purpose of easy cleanup? Maybe, but it also is nice because juices often run down here and if they get burned on the side, they can mar the side of this. But this is, we clean it out after every time and it works just great. So um, our intent with this is to really put it through its paces while we are trailer camping and um, we will bring you along on that so that you can see. Now, we are not pushing this for you to go out and buy. We don't benefit in any way. We don't get any kind of a commission on these units that are sold. We don't do that. Uh, we have our little Amazon store, which is more of a convenience, and we donate most of those proceeds to a children's hospital. So we're not after your money in that way. What we are after is convenience and economy and um, efficiency in cooking while we are out on the trail. And so if this will work for us, we can carry this and we got another carry bag as part of the gift as well. So in two bags, in two bags this size, we can carry all of these things which we probably won't do because I will only be carrying the pieces that we will use on any given trip, but carrying two bags this size, I can do that easily. Um, with the other things that we would carry, we would have to get a cart and load those heavy um, appliances, those heavy pieces of equipment, the Traeger, tabletop Traeger and the tabletop Blackstone on that cart, wheel it around, and then Jim would often struggle trying to get it into the back of the truck. So for us, this is going to be a great convenience if it works for us how we are hoping that it will. So this is our introduction to trail grazers on the cob. And um, we have, when I talked to the president about um, the cobblestone and was joking with him, 38 cents compared with $3.60, he said, well, try it, you're gonna love these. And I do, I really do, they light fast, they leave very little ash. The cleanup is very easy. It burns hot. It burns even. Um, and, and he said, you can just pour water on them, and, um, and that puts them out immediately. And so I said, well, then can you dry them out after that and reuse whatever is left? And he said, oh, no, no. They're not good after that. Well, that got me to thinking. And... Um, we will be doing a video soon on how we have figured out how to reuse the cobblestones. Um, as I read the reviews on their website, there was a lot of um, discussion about how large these are, and sometimes you only need half the size. This cooks for two and a half, sometimes three hours, and how you don't need that much cooking time. So they deemed it a waste just to just let it either burn all the way out or pour water on it. So we have figured out a few things. We're going to be sharing that in a video over on Rose Red. And uh, at some point, I will link you to that video. It's coming out in a couple of weeks, so we'll show you what we've learned about that. So there are many ways to cook food when you are camping. This is only one way. And any of the things that we show using the cob, you can duplicate most likely very successfully on what you may carry with you already. And so we're hoping that um, we can just learn a little bit more about the cob together and then you can decide whether you want it or not or whether you're gonna do some of our ideas on the equipment that you already have. So thank you so much for being with us for this video and we hope to see you and we'll see you very soon out on the trail.